In this video, I want to show how to construct a square when we're given just one side of the square. So here are the steps on how to do it. So the first thing we want to do is extend the line segment in either direction, but we're going to extend it through point B. So I'm going to, here we are extending the line segment. And next, what we want to do is we're going to set the compass on point B, and we're going to construct a line perpendicular to this segment through point B. So we're going to swing the arc from point B in, on the right side, and we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So now we have two new intersection points here. So we're going to move the compass to one of the new points and extend it a little bit because we need this compass to go more than the halfway point. Like B is the halfway point between this intersection point and this one over here. So now we swing the arc a little bit above point B and we move it to the other location here and swing another arc in such a way that these two arcs intersect. And now when we connect point B to this intersection of arcs here, we're going to have a line that's perpendicular to the original line segment. Now we could set this to any length that's just obviously greater than line segment AB because now we're going to set the compass to the length of line segment AB so we could finish this construction. So we extend it to match exactly the length of AB. And now we're going to swing the arc directly over point A and we're going to repeat that over point B. And now when we do this, this is telling us the location of the other two points, but to get an exact location for this point, we're going to move the compass to this intersection point over here, and we're going to swing an arc in such a way that it crosses this one we made from point A. Now since the length of the compass wasn't changed from AB, that means that all of these distances are going to be the same. So the last thing we, could, we can do here is connect all four points. So we bring, uh, we draw these arcs in. And now we could just name them. All right, this intersection point over here we could call point C. And this intersection point here we could call point D. And we've just successfully completed a construction of square ABCD given line segment AB. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe below and thank you for watching.